Hello, it is late late as per usual on uh, Tuesday the 12th of March I think. Um, I'm just checking in really, trying to do at least a little something every few days for you. Um, I'm working on this at the moment, so it's just a little sneaky peek. I will talk about it more on my podcast which I am recording tomorrow and will be published on Friday, all going well. Um, This is the blanket that I am testing for Emma, who is stitched up by Emma on Instagram. It's the Diamond Filet Mile a Minute blanket. Neris is about to start being a pest. (coughs) Obviously I started talking so she wants to get involved. Um, But yeah. I am, hello, on to the joining stage, so I just need to join the other panels on and do the border and then it'll be finished, hopefully by the end of this week, possibly in the next day or two. Um, What else am I going to say? Oh, I've had quite an exciting day actually today, Um, I've been keeping this under wraps for a while but I'm going to mention it now because um by the time i put this video up this news will be out in the world anyway should be anyway if not i might have to redact this (laughs) when it comes to editing but um but yeah i don't think i don't think i'll be putting this up on youtube until after this other thing has happened i had an interview with ross from rosberry craft who is a knitter based in Canada uh, with her own YouTube channel. Uh, Yeah, she put a call out, I don't know, a few weeks ago, a couple of months maybe, saying that she was wanting to do interviews on her podcast channel. Um, And if anyone was interested in in being featured, then just to let her know, just drop her an email. So I did. (laughs) And after a little bit of negotiation with Times, because obviously Canada is in a completely different time zone to the UK. I think we're seven or eight hours apart. Um, but yeah, we managed to figure out a time that worked for both of us. And we recorded that this morning. No, this afternoon for me. Very early this morning for Roz, just after lunch for me. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, big thank you to her very excited to see it go up. Um, We had a few technical issues. The internet kept cutting out on us. Not helpful (laughs) when you're doing a long distance Zoom call. Um, But otherwise it went really well. It was really lovely to chat to her. Um, We've been watching her channel for a little while now. So, I don't know, it, it was a funny kind of I've never met her, I've never spoken to her, but it almost felt like I had, if that makes sense, because I've seen her on my screen so many times already. Um, so yeah, I think it went well. <laughs> Excuse me, hopefully I've managed to edit that out. Um, yes, I believe she's releasing that on the... 19th of March so like I say it should already be up I will link her channel in the description for this and I will obviously be promoting the video um on my social media and that sort of thing as well so yeah that was fun I was weirdly nervous beforehand it's like there was no need to be you know I was having Eris is eating me again. You know, I was just having a conversation with someone who I know I have a lot, of, lot in common with. You know, we're both crafters on YouTube and Instagram. You know, but yeah, I did, I did get a little bit nervous beforehand, but that soon went away once I started chatting to her. Um, yeah, really, really lovely time. So, thank you, Ross, if you're watching this. That was lovely. I hope you.
you enjoyed it too. Um, and hey, maybe one day I'll return the favour. We shall see. What else can I tell you uh, tomorrow? As I briefly mentioned, I think already is podcast recording day. Feels like it's come around really quickly this time. I know I was a day late recording and editing last time but literally only one day late it shouldn't make this much difference but it feels like it's come around really fast and i don't have um a huge amount to talk about to be honest which is probably a good thing because the last one was really long um it hasn't had many views and i wonder if that's why <laughs> people have been a bit put off and it was nearly two hours which is crazy, and that's after editing. Um, so yeah, hopefully tomorrow's will be quite a bit shorter. <laughs> Get a bit more interest. Um, again, by the time you see this, that will already be up on my channel. Um, so if you haven't seen it already, please go and have a look. Um, if I remember, I'll link that in the description for this as well. Or I'll put it on the end screen or something. Um... We have got a family member visiting tomorrow afternoon. If I'm perfectly honest, I'm not too happy about it. Um, but it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. Um, mostly I'm annoyed because it means Ned won't be going to Granny's again. He's had to miss uh, a few weeks through one thing and another, which he doesn't mind. He likes coming home instead and being here, but it means I've lost that little bit of extra work time that I would normally have on a Wednesday in term time. Uh, but never mind, that's just how it'll be. I'm sure it will all work out fine. <laughs> um, yeah, it's a good thing that he's currently doing an after school club um, on a Thursday, so I get a little bit of time back then. But it's not as much. Um, it's only an extra hour instead of an extra two to two and a half hours that I would get on a Wednesday normally. Um, and unfortunately after Easter that club isn't continuing and I've not managed to get him into another one. So yeah, hey, it is what it is. Um, I need to start looking actually at clubs for the summer holidays just so I can get some work done over the summer. But that's a problem for another time. <laughs> that's, I don't think there's a lot else to tell you, to be honest. Um, oh, my friend Lindsay, has, um, she's been shopping from Timu for a while now, so I'm sure you may well have been lots of people have um i have resisted it until very recently because i know how dangerous that kind of site can be for someone with a slight shopping addiction um since the last time i saw lindsay which is what a couple of weeks ago i have just put in my second team order <laughs> the first one i justified because um, because it was mostly things for party bags for Ned's birthday. And I've actually saved myself a decent amount of money buying it off Timu instead of off Amazon or wherever. Um, this order, I went on specifically because in the last order I didn't get enough of the actual bags themselves to put all the party bag stuff in um so i went on just to order another pack which now means i've got too many but that's not a problem um and i thought oh while i'm on there <laughs> famous last words uh, <laughs> i'll just have a look and see if they've got any cheap little crafty bits i don't need anything but i just thought i'd have a look and I've spent 25 quid. To be fair, I've got a lot for 25 quid. It is all cheap stuff. Most things were under a pound. So 
that's good, <laughs> at least. Um, but yeah, when that arrives, it'll probably be a week or two. But when that does arrive, I shall, if I remember, I'll share it with you because there's some fun little bits and bobs in there. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Not sure there'll be much to show you tomorrow. Um, so I don't know when I'll be back. But I will be at some point. Okay. Bye bye for now. Hello. It's Saturday. I can't remember what the date is. I didn't look it up before coming in here. Um, it is about quarter to eight. So I have got about 15 20 minutes and I need to go and tell Ned that it's time to go to sleep and so I thought I would come in here and chat to you while doing a bit of spinning uh, what can I tell you I suppose there isn't really a huge amount to tell you um Kelvin and I went out for dinner last night we went to Estabulo in Harrogate uh, it is part of a chain so you will be able to uh, visit their restaurants elsewhere if it's the kind of kind of food you like. It is a Brazilian barbecue style food so I wouldn't bother going if you're a vegetarian because <laughs> it's mostly meat and a lot of it. There I are, you know, there's a really good salad bar and stuff like that as well but yeah the main event is definitely the meat, um, which is great for me and Kelvin because we are essentially carnivores. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had a really lovely night. Spent a good couple of hours there while Granny was babysitting Ned. Uh, oh, and they gave us a free glass of Prosecco each because of it being for our anniversary as well. So that was lovely. What else can I say? Um, you know, I don't really know. Well, Annette and I went for a little walk today, not for very long. He wanted to go out and um, do some Pokemon Go. And we ended up going to a little park that's near us and he played for a bit and then get annoyed because there were some other kids there when we got there and they'd taken some like remote control cars or something and so he was annoyed that he hadn't brought anything to play with <laughs> and wanted to go back and get something and then go back to the park I was like I'm not having that <laughs> it was raining a bit by that time and yeah I didn't want to go home just to go back out again seems silly hello that's incredibly unhelpful I know it. Yeah, you do. Gonna have to go down, madam. You want then you get uh had a quick visit to Calvin's mum's this afternoon. Um their cat had an accident a few weeks ago that knackered one of his back legs. And he had surgery and they did a bunch of clever stuff to try and fix it uh, and it just has not, you know his get off, hasn't worked basically, um, it wasn't, it looked like it was doing okay for a while and then and it kind of stopped healing, he was in pain all the time and everything so they've just amputated his back leg, that was almost two weeks ago now. Um, and we went round to see him, mostly so that Ned could see him because he was getting really worried about him and a bit like worried that the cat Mac would look really scary <laughs> because he was missing a leg so we wanted to go and just be like no look he's fine he's getting better and yes he's only got three legs now but that's okay. Cats are fine. Fine with three legs. Yeah. 
four is better, but three is fine. Oh, that's Ned coughing in the background. Um, so, yeah, that was nice. And he is doing, Mac the cat, he's doing really, really well. Um, still a bit, you know, limpy, obviously, but he is definitely getting used to having one less leg. And he is much happier now that he can. He needs to be supervised, but he, he is allowed to leave the crate that he was confined to and um you know they can take his cone off they've got a really cool soft cone so it's not so restrictive but still they can take it off for a bit as long as they watch him make sure he doesn't go for his stitches so uh going back to the vet on thursday this week i think they said to see see whether or not the stitches can be taken out so cross your fingers for that because then he will be a much much happier cat um, don't think there's much else to say to be honest uh, I am obviously still going strong with the 100 days project that's Vinny yes yes oh dear Ned really has a cough uh, seems absolutely fine otherwise. Uh, did I, yeah, still going strong with this. I did miss last night, I missed two days when we had our anniversary party. Um, why did I miss the Sunday? I don't know, I think I was just too tired and hungover. Um, but yeah, obviously I missed the Saturday because of the party. Um, and I missed last night because we were out. But, as I said I would, there is no, you're not coming up. Um, I have added those days back onto the bottom of the chart that I'm ticking off as I go so that I know I've missed those days and I need to do a bit more. Alright, that's okay. Um, what else have I done? I've finished the test of blanket pattern that I was doing for Stitched Up by Emma. Just need to block it and take photos and all that and then that blanket will go up in my shop. I'm really pleased with this one, actually. Scrupus, you're in the way though. Um, yeah, just happy with my colour choices and how it all looks. How it's all come together. What else? Have I, I've not really done a lot else craft-wise, so I wanted to get that blanket finished. Oh, I've started joining the squares for the blanket for my grandma. Uh, so that's coming along nicely. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Ned's at a birthday party for one of his friends tomorrow. They're going to do laser tag. I have been given permission to not go with, <laughs> which is nice. Kelvin obviously has to go anyway because we need the car to get there. So I pointed out to Ned earlier on that I wouldn't really you know it was it was silly for both of us to go you know it's i can't drive anyway so i can't do transport and then i would just be sat you know he doesn't need both of us there well he's going to be off having fun and i'd just be sat being bored obviously there'd be people to talk to you but so i will have a couple of hours to myself tomorrow which is lovely don't know what i shall do with that Possibly when I'll block the blanket, in fact. <laughs> um, but I don't know. We shall see. And then, um, yeah, just kind of business as usual, really. A bunch of stuff I didn't get done last week. Uh, because other stuff happened, basically, which I am not going to talk about. If you've seen my most recent podcast episode, well, you still won't know the details because I haven't talked about it. I'm not going to, but you'll have seen that I had a bit of a, a bit of a bad week. Had some bad news. Um, so doing better about that now. It's still rubbish, and it's going to stay rubbish for a while. But. 
and it's just kind of how life goes sometimes isn't it you know you get you get good bits and you get bad bits that's just broken so yeah i'm dealing i will keep dealing <laughs> and i'll just you know at some point i will talk about it i'm sure but it feels a bit um I don't know, it just doesn't feel like the right time to talk about it right now. Not on such a public place anyway. Now I'm talking about it with Kelvin and with friends and all of that. That's broken again. Right, I need to concentrate. <laughs> um, yeah, this is looking really nice. Coming together really well. Um, so yeah, that's that. I don't think I've forgotten anything important to tell you. Maybe I have, I don't know. But I don't think so. So that'll do for now. And I'll be back at some point with more news. Hello, it is Sunday the 17th, I think, of March. Excuse my appearance, I've got no makeup on there and my hair's a mess, but just, let's just breeze past that. <laughs> um, Ned and Kelvin are out for, well they've been out for a couple of hours, I think I've got about 40 minutes left <laughs> and I've had some lunch and a bit of a sit down and then I thought I would get the test blanket blocked so here it is, this is the diamond filet mile a minute blanket by Stitched Up by Emma I'm really, really pleased with how it's turned out. I think it's my most successful blocking that I've done ever. The colours are gorgeous. Um, I need to take some photos and send all the stats to Emma, um, how much yarn I used, that sort of thing. And then when I get my act together, get myself into gear, I shall pop this up on my shop. So. If it's something you would like, keep an eye out. Um, my shop will be changing instantly. I think I'm going to move away from the Made Me platform. I'm either going to set up a shop on Ko-fi or on Shopify. I'm leaning towards Shopify because I think I can. I think I can embed that directly into my website which is appealing but it depends on cost Kofi there's like no listing fees or anything they just take a commission on what you sell and I think it's a flat rate of five percent which is nothing really um certainly at the rate I'm selling at the moment that is below what I pay for my made me shop um so I don't know, I need to look at the fees on Shopify and see how much that costs, which one's going to work out better. So watch this space. <laughs> Change is afoot. Uh, I need to get it sorted before we go away because my Made Me shop is set to renew at the end of the month. <laughs> so I need to get that shut down before they take more money off me. Um, yeah, I'll let you know when it's sorted. And yes, keep an eye out for that blanket being in there. It's so pretty. Let me know what you think of it. Is it your kind of colour? If I made one for you, what colours would you want? I think um, I really like the purples and the dark blue and black. It's very pretty and it shows up well on camera in these kind of colours, which is nice. But I think if it was mine, it'd be red because that is my favourite colour. Um, oh no, I'm not wearing red today. But you'll have noticed on a lot of my podcast episodes, I'm wearing red just happens to be my favourite colour and I have as many clothes as I can in that colour. Uh, right, that's enough waffle from me for now. I shall check back in next time I've got something to say to you. Good morning. It is Monday the 18th of March. Objectively speaking, it's a lovely day. I'm very warm <laughs> and a little out of breath. I've just done a rare uh school run don't often do them 
just going to pause this. There's someone coming the other way. Yes, as I was saying, I've just done the scoring and I thought I'd just show you a little bit of my walk home. I've decided to come the nice way, <laughs> the back way. There's sort of two main routes home from school. One takes me all along what is the main road in this part of Harrogate. And um, this way takes me along lots of lovely paths through trees and with grass and <laughs> other bits of nature. You can probably hear the birds, I hope you can, chirping. So yeah, not my favourite weather. I'm too warm, it's too bright. But I can appreciate the beauty of what's going on. Um, I shall... Well, I'm not going to record the whole way because you'll get bored very quickly. But if I see any particularly nice flowers or anything like that, I shall take a picture and I'll pop it in after this. We are coming up to my favourite bit of the walk home from school. This is partly because it means I'm nearly home. <laughs> but also because it just starts to feel a little bit magical along here. You'll see what I mean. We're about to go through this gap in the wall. It just feels a little bit... A little bit fairy. I don't mean that in the Disney... <laughs> um, you know, glitter and pink and sparkles and all that kind of way. I mean it in an old way. It's just, I don't know, it's lovely. There's lots of well-established trees. And yeah, yeah, quite often get a bit of wildlife. It's just pretty. Being very careful to make sure I don't take pictures of people. Oh look, there's tiny daffodils down there. I've seen lots of daffodils this morning. They've mostly been the big ones. I quite like the little ones that you get. They're really elegant and dainty. <laughs> yeah, look at this. These trees. I don't know. It seems to get more and more leafy. It just feels a little bit wild along this way, and I love it. Anyway, I'm nearly home, so I'm going to turn this off now. Hello, hello. Just popped in for a quick one. It is Wednesday the 20th of March. I nearly said May then, don't know why. Um, I've been absolutely exhausted today. <laughs> don't know what's going on. I have got a bit of a cold, I think, so maybe it's just that. Um, hey, I've only had a short nap, so I'm doing okay. I'll try and get to bed at a more sensible time tonight. Um, but yeah, because I've been so tired, my motivation to do all the things I really should have been doing has been very low. Uh, so instead, I did a lot of spinning earlier. Um, you know, it's part of the 100 Days project. I was intending to spin anyway, but it uh, much more than I meant to. I have finished spinning the Corydale wool that I was using um, along with the little scraps that I was adding into it so that's all caked up ready for the next stage just to keep it tidy. I'll need to uncake it again for the next bit but keep it tidy for now um, and then because I wasn't quite ready to stop I started spinning the Shetland. <laughs> it's a slightly darker purple. Um, I think this is called... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. It doesn't matter right now. Um, I'll pop, pop a picture of the finished Corydale up. Um, so you can see it. It's the end of the Shetland wool. Um, and this is going really well. Uh, I like it. It's different. Um, obviously, it's still 100% wool, so there are some oh dear, there are some similarities. 
um, it's not quite as smooth, I don't think. I think the Corydale has got a bit of a shine to it once it's spun, because this doesn't really, it's very, very matte. Um, but it's spinning it nicely. I think I'm going to keep this to, um, just to itself. I'm not going to add anything in, or at least that's my plan at the moment. I'll keep it playing and just focus on improving my drafting technique and therefore getting a more consistent spin, a more consistent thickness. Um, let's see how I go with that. I'm going doing all right at the moment. So that's that anyway. Uh, also, I thought I'd show you a little bit of incoming that I've had. Um, this is for, at least some of it is for, a project that I'm making Ned for his birthday. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is in case he sees this video. <laughs> uh, I'm hoping he won't guess. There is another thing that isn't yarn but is related that I will also need that I'm not going to show you at all because if I show you that and he sees the video then he will know straight away <laughs> exactly what I'm doing um so yes that's frustrating that I can't share that with you well, I could, but I'm not going to share that with you just yet you'll have to wait until the end of April I'm afraid um but here is some lovely yarn now this package I'm afraid I ordered this off Amazon, which I wouldn't normally do with yarn. But I needed a brown and I wasn't finding anywhere else. Um, it's not the same texture as the other yarn that I've ordered. Um, but it's close enough. It's, it's not all brown. There is a brown in this pack. Does it have the colour names on it? I don't think it does. That's annoying. So this is... Jubilee yarn, chenille. Don't know if that's focusing, I can't get close enough. There you go, hopefully. 100 gram cakes for each one. There's four colours. I think I can't really tell in this light, the light's not great in here. There's a couple of greeny ones and a couple of browny ones. It's so soft, which is what I was going for. Super soft. That looks like the kind of brown that I'm after. The slightly annoying thing is I only need a tiny bit of the brown. <laughs> um, but hey, you know, any excuse to order lots of yarn. I need to have a play. Actually, I might use some of this um, just to do a little test run of working with chenille yarn because it'll be the first time that I've done it. Um, my friend Fee bought me some for Christmas, actually, but I haven't got around to playing with it yet. And that was a bit of fluff. So, oh, I think this is a um oh, it's just a little thing for the people who who sold it on Amazon anyway, so that's the, the kind of spare yarn that I've ordered. And then here I've got from Flossie's Place, who I learnt about. Sorry, this is what I'm Hold on. Hang on. There we go. Right, so I learnt about Flossie's Place um, because of Jeanette from Crafty Clegg. In one of her latest videos, she mentioned them and said that um, Flossie of Flossie's Place. Oh, Alison, in fact, I think, according to this packing note, um, had given that she'd sent Jeanette some yarn for something Jeanette's making. And had also sent her a discount code for anyone watching her videos. So I thought, perfect. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have used that discount code. Sorry, I'm in my pyjamas. I'm very scruffy. So... Just trying to think if there's anything on here that I can show you without showing my details and I can't really. But I shall I shall link Flossie's place in the description. Either for this video or for my next proper podcast, which will I'm sure this will all get mentioned in as well. 
I've bought two skeins of Pixie Dust Brights by Premier. They are 100 gram skeins, 100% polyester. This, I didn't realise, I should have done from the name, didn't realise when I bought it, it's glittery, sparkly, so it was unintended. But that's the black. Can you see the sparkle? I hope you can. And then I've got this lovely yellow. So I wasn't intending to make anything glittery for Ned, but he won't mind. And it's, as you can see, the difference in texture between the two. But that's okay, like I say, I'll only need a tiny bit of the brown anyway. And this is not quite as soft as the other yarn, but it is still lovely and snuggly. So I'm happy with it. And in the parcel with that, it's a D-bag. <laughs> I like this. It's a little trend that seems to be happening recently. Uh, Dorset tea, I think it's just a plain, plain tea, I think. Possibly. It's, yes, 100% black tea. A truly golden cup of sunshine to be enjoyed, enjoyed all day, every day. That's nice. So I won't make that now, but I might in the morning. <laughs> um, what else has been happening? Excuse my nails, sorry, they're ridiculous. I don't think there's really a lot else to tell you. Um, I was going to go and visit my sister and my niece tomorrow, but I'm not going to because I'm not well. I don't want to give it to them, and apparently they're not well either, so. Um, so hopefully I'll get this edited tomorrow and up on YouTube for you. Obviously by the time you see this, Whatever day it is, I'll have done it, but <laughs> hopefully this has gone up for you on the 21st. If not, oh well. Um, mostly we're just starting to prepare to prepare for going to Edinburgh next week. Well, we're staying in Linlithgow, but we're going to be mostly visiting Edinburgh. We're going to go to the zoo, go to the castle. I will go to the yarn shop <laughs> if it kills me. <laughs> Is it called Ginger Twist? I think. Um, yeah, not a lot else going on. So, uh, oh, I sent the package out to my giveaway winner from my podcast. So hopefully she'll get that tomorrow. Yeah, well, tomorrow or Friday. I sent it yesterday. Um, yeah, just put a few little bits and bobs in with the penguin. Hopefully she'll be happy with that. Yeah, anyway, that's it. I'm just trying to think of things to say now. And I said it was going to be quick and it's gone on longer than I meant it to. So that will do. This is probably the last bit for part two of March. So I'll be back in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs>